Common English phrases. Today we'll take a look at some different ways to say common English phrases and their appropriate responses in English. It's one of the first things you learn to say, and for some reason. So, if you want to sound more natural and express yourself more exactly, it might be time to take a look at some new alternatives. Take a look at our tips for saying hello below. Number one. Common phrases to ask how someone is. How's it going? How's everything? What's going on? What's up? What's new? What have you been? How are you holding up? How are things? How's life? Number two. Common phrases to say how you are. I'm good. And you? Not bad. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm doing well. And you? Good. How about you? I'm fine. Thanks. How about you? Pretty good. Same as always. Could be better. Can't complain. Number three. Common phrases for being tired. I'm exhausted. I'm dead tired. I am drained. I am pooped. I'm wiped out. I'm worn out. I'm fried. I'm beat. I can hardly keep my eyes open. I'm gonna hit the sack. Number four. Common phrases to say thank you. I'm so grateful. Thanks for your hard work on this. I couldn't have done it without you. I owe you one. I really appreciate it. I'm really grateful at so kind of you. Please accept my deepest gratitude. Number five. Common phrases to respond to thank you. That's okay. That's fine. No problem. No worries. It's nothing. Aunt, mention it. My pleasure. Any time. Glad I could help. Please to help. You're very welcome. It's the least I could do. Number six. Common phrases to end a conversation politely. It was a pleasure catching up with you. Thank you for taking the time to catch up with me. It was nice chatting with you. Anyway, I should get going. Number seven. Common phrases to ask for information. Do you have any idea? Do you know? Would you mind telling me? Would you happen to know? I don't suppose you. Number eight. Common phrases to say I don't know. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I haven't a clue. I'm not certain. I can't help you there. Beats me. I'm not really sure. Been wondering that too. Number nine. Common phrases for not having an opinion. Can't say. I don't have any feelings either way. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what to say. I have never given it much. Though I don't have strong feelings either way, it doesn't make any difference to me. I have no opinion on the matter. Number ten. Common phrases for agreeing exactly or telling me. That's so true. That's for sure. Absolutely, that makes sense. No doubt about it. I couldn't agree with you more. Tell me about it. I'll say, I suppose so. Number eleven. Common phrases for disagreeing. Totally disagree. I don't think so. Absolutely not. That's not right. I'm not sure about that. That's not how I see it. Not necessarily. Number twelve. Common phrases to respond to great news. I'm so glad to hear that. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that with me. We're very happy for you. That's great. How wonderful. Awesome. That's all for today. Thanks to this common phrases, you can learn how to speak English fluently. It takes time and effort. But it's possible with enough motivation. The best way to progress is to immerse yourself in the language as much as possible and practice regularly. Try to do something related to English every day, 
even if it's just for a few minutes. No matter what methods you use, the important thing is that you take some time each day to focus on becoming a better speaker. My lessons will focus specifically on your needs as a student so we can target exactly what's best for you to reach your English goals.